Hi, today I want to talk about how we can use forms in the assignments section in Teams. So here I am with the assignments in a particular team and I'm going to create a new assignment. Now you can see the options here. I can either start a new assignment, which is what I did last time, and this time I want to go from a new quiz. You can see I can also recycle an old assignment. So I'm going to select new quiz. This allows me to use the power of forms and everything in there to create an assessment based on a form. So you can see I've got all of the forms that I've uh, created and I can actually search for them. So if you've uh, previously uh, done a form and uh, got it ready to go, you can use that form or you can see I can create a new form. Okay, so I've chosen this form here and then I select next. So I can now uh, change the name of the uh, assignment if I want to. You can see the title just comes from the name of the form, but I can always change that. I can add a category there. Um, I've got assignment as a previous category, so I can call this one a quiz if I like. And then I can give the instructions, you know, complete this form by a certain day. You can see the form is there. That is the resource. I can give it a due date. So let's change that to 7 p.m. on Tuesday, 8th of April. I can schedule it to um, be assigned later. So this is when the form will actually appear and the students will get an email. Now I think there's only two questions in this one, so there's two points possible. So I've set this up, of course, as a um, quiz. So if I just go open in Teams, it will then open that form and we'll be able to see what that looks like before I send it off to my students. So indeed, this has got uh, a rating and it's only got two questions that are worth one point each so I will be able to uh, assign that to the students and then be able to see the results directly within here so um, I can save that so I can schedule it later I'm going to send it out now so I'm going to click on assign you can see in the conversations tab also that the uh, assignment is posted in there automatically so the students can go directly there and they'll be able to view the assignment and they'll be able to do it if I go to the assignments tab now, I can see uh, who has turned it in and go to by going to review. So I can see all of the stats on who has completed that assignment. So at this stage, you can see Brad is the only one and I can see out of two, Brad got two out of two. Excellent. So I can export these marks if I want to, uh, or I can open in forms. If I click on open in forms, it takes me to this website here and I can review all of the answers individually. I could leave a comment if I wanted to. Um, so great work, oops. Great work, yep, enter that, that comment there. Uh, so I can also do individual comments per question if I wanted to, but I can see the individual responses that I get per, um, uh, per person and I can do a comment on that.